okay, you ever do something stupid and you, know, you got to pay for it, it costs lots of money? I did that today. It's my fault. 100% my fault. I wonder it didn't take out both tires, but it didn't. Uh, brand new tire on the front of this tractor, and I poked a hole in it. I'm hoping it isn't as bad as I'm thinking it is, but it's there. In here. It's this guy right there. Damn it. No big deal, I guess. Uh, but I got to take it up to the shop and uh, fix that tire. What happened, and it's just a small hole, it's no big deal, I guess, but uh, what happened is I was, my dad pulled up with the 7410 with the spikes on the front of it, and he was backing up, and I guess I should have been a little more patient, but anyways, I came around him, and I thought he was backing up into one spot, but he didn't. He was going to back up into the building, and he swung the front end around. If he continued on the path that I thought he was going to go on, I'd have been fine, but uh, he didn't. He <laughs> cut the wheel sharp to go up to the front of the building and swung them spikes out and just, I don't know why, but I think that was on the way back. I don't know. It hit it. It hit it and poked a hole in the tire. So I'm just going to back this thing on right there with a flat tire on it. All the way around the front of the building. Yes, I'm going to drive a tractor on a flat tire. I'm not even going to turn it around. I'm just going to drive it up there. Hopefully it comes off the rim because if it doesn't, i got to take it off anyway. Um, brand new tire too, really agitating. But the weather's not too hospitable. If you look up there, you can see that Pennsylvania is disappearing behind a shroud of snow. Uh, winter has finally arrived. I'm not really, uh, you know, I don't care that it's winter time or whatnot, but it is now winter and I just don't like fixing tires when it's bloody cold out in the wind. And uh, so what I'll do is I'll just get this tractor tire up there and then I'll, I will uh, get it off the rim. So just I'm a little disgusted if you can't tell it in my voice. Um, yeah, I'm disgusted. It's totally my fault. It's not my dad's fault at all. It's just mine. And I'm really hoping this tire comes off this rim. If the tire comes off this rim, it'll make life a lot easier for me. And I think it's actually going to do it. I can see it working its way off. I can see it working its way off. And it's not going to damage the tire by me driving on it like this, because, let's face it, tire's probably still warm and like I said Pennsylvania's disappearing you can see the snow there's still sun shining through it but I like these types of weather events it's kind of weird it's like sun down in the valley with snow coming over the hill I don't know I'm supposed to go out to Messick's tomorrow and I am I'm going to Messick's tomorrow to uh, film the repair of the Crone Baylor or the maintenance of the Crone Baylor. So I'll get this video up yet tonight. Let me shut the rest of these doors here and uh, then we'll start that tire. Hopefully, the BKT tire, the hole's right there. My stupid stupidity, I mean, I, I just can't believe I did that. Oh, well, what do you do? What do you do, huh? You know, you just kind of, you shake your head. Yeah. You shake your head and you move on with it, I guess. That's all you can do. If you're a farmer, you, we've all done stupid shit like that.
Well, you just don't fix that. He's all the way through, clear through. It's not leaking though, which is a good thing. But I just junked that tire. Junk, junk, and junk. So, anyways, what I got to do is actually get this tractor out, and I got to pull this one ahead. So before I do that, I might as well start this up. It's a little cold. Oh. I cannot believe that bit of stupidity. Just so stupid. It just cost me 13, 14, 1500 bucks. Let's see, what was these tires? These tires were 2800 bucks right there, I think. So, there it is. I get to buy one BKT 540 65 R30 tire. Right there. You can see right through to the patches that I put in. It just, you can see where the spike hit it and broke out all the cord. And then I guess it must have rippled it over and pinched it. Yeah, you can see right there's the scratch marks. So, yeah, there it is. One brand new tire that I need to change out. Put another brand new tire on. We don't have vulcanizing shops here in the U.S. anymore that I know of, and that's kind of stinky because a vulcanizing shop would just cut that out, put a patch in there, uh, I say a patch, but a, uh, a mesh inside there, and call it fixed, and they would, they would fix that, but I wouldn't even begin to know where to send a send that tire to get fixed anymore they probably charge me a thousand dollars fix fucking tire excuse the language i'm a little upset but anyways such is life thanks for watching